Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this quick tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to swap VFX renders out for newer versions of clips. So, uh, for example, in this project I'm working with at the moment, this is my short film Audition, which you can find more about on the official website, auditionshort.com. We've got the opening titles of the film, uh, but there's a slightly newer version which makes some amendments to the opening titles. So what we want to do is take uh, Comp 7 and swap it for Comp 8, but how do we do that without having to re-put it in the timeline and redo all the changes that we've made to this clip accordingly? It's actually really simple. The first thing you want to do is select the clip you want to swap out and press Shift F. That's going to reveal it in the event library. You can see it's this clip here. Then, with this clip selected, go File, Relink Event Files, and it knows which clip you've selected, so press uh, locate all and basically it's just a matter of navigating to the new version let's go VFX opening shot renders and you can see this is comp 8, the newer version of the file and as long as it's got the same duration and settings um, you're going to be able to swap it out no problem and generally with VFX when it's just incremental renders that is going to be the case Go ahead and press choose and press relink files. And it's going to go ahead and update. You can see the clip's now gone from there and it's uh, now over here. And if we scrub through, it's made a change to the opening title. Instead of saying Major Zeus presents, it now says Major Zeus and Dan Allen Films. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that it's going to keep the same file name. So we can actually change this manually to 08. And it's always good to have your previous versions in there in case there's an issue and you want to go back to it. So what I'd recommend you do is you uh, then re-import the old version from Finder. However, this obviously makes it quicker because it puts it straight into the timeline uh, ready for you to carry on working. So hopefully this was useful. Thanks for watching. Remember to suggest tutorials in the uh, comments box below. And I'll be back soon with some more tutorials. Also follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all that jazz because YouTube doesn't deliver the videos. Yes, that is a flashing toilet behind me if you can hear that. Facebook.com forward slash Dan Films. Twitter at AS Productions. See you guys soon.